Wow, we're keeping Ghostbusters and we're live. Wow, this is this is always crazy on Tuesday nights where we talk about before we come in the show, before I get to say it's Tuesday night, eight o'clock. Do you know where your DJ's at? I'm here with you. Yeah, there's always a crazy stuff that we talk about beforehand, and sometimes it's a lot of fun things. We want to thank you all for coming in tonight and, and joining us for the show. As you see, we have a lot of great DJs. Uh, we have someone who is uh, hoping that uh, the Dodgers win the against the Yankees tonight. Uh, and again, you're watching this in the future, so you'll be able to know, did the Dodgers win and win the World Series, or are they still battling out with the Yankees, or uh, who won? You know, we'll see. <laughs> I'm still battling my cough week four, so I do apologize. You hear me coughing? My allergies. Hopefully, uh, we get a freeze. But today here in Chicagoland, as you see, our lovely couple over there in beautiful northwestern Indiana is on the deck because it's like 74 degrees outside right now, and it was like 82, 83 degrees here today. It was just oddly oh. warm for uh, late <laughs> November, but I'm not complaining one bit. Uh, it's going to be nice and warm tomorrow. Um, and then hopefully for Halloween, uh, maybe rain in the morning and then partly sunny in the afternoon. So that's what we're hoping for. But with that said, first thing first, I want to thank you all for tuning in, coming by, saying hi, and chatting. I always like when people chat and say hi and talk. So please make sure that you uh, talk in the chat area. And I appreciate you stopping by the channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, do me a favor. This is the hard one. Smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you do the bell icon and then share it with another DJ. That helps us beat that beast, otherwise known as the algorithm on YouTube. It is a hard nut to crack. The more people who give thumbs up, the more people who appreciate us and talk, the better off we are, and I do appreciate you being here. And also, I appreciate uh, if you get a chance to, make sure you put a comment down below. Talk about stuff. And as well, make sure that, tell another DJ. With everything going on, uh, one programming note, next week, because of the presidential election, uh, we will not be on, so that way, all that... Stuff going on will go on, so we will not be on next week due to the election. Uh, only thing we all want you guys to do, if if you can, go out and vote, vote. Other than that, that's all we're going to say. With that, I like to ask this because this week, this coming Thursday, as you see by some of the people's backgrounds and shirts and stuff, it is Halloween week, Halloween this week, it's this coming Thursday. And I want to start off with this one. And I want to hear from the people in the room. What is your go-to candy? What, it, what? Give me a couple candies. If someone said, hey, they put a bunch of candy bars in front or chocolates or whatever, what is your go-to candies? And I'm actually going to start with, I'm going to start with Mr. Dixon over in beautiful Ohio. Uh, what's, what's your favorite go-to candies? Either Skittles or Starburst. Skittles or Starburst. Okay. A fruit guy. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Didn't take you for that. I was going to say Snickers. No, I can't eat chocolate. You're going to break me okay. out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> wow. Okay, no chocolate. So you're more the fruit-flavored candies, gummies, stuff like that. What about Swedish fish? Swedish fish up there? Uh, nah. No. Oh. Nope. Gummy bears? Uh, Sour Patch uh, Kids. He's a Sour Patch Kid man, right? Uh, nope, I'll, I'll tolerate the um, gummies, but Skittles and Starburst. Skittles and Starburst. Yeah. Now, do you like the original Starburst, or you like the other flavors, like tropical flavor or whatever special they have ever nope. so often? Um, the original ones, not unless it's the um, Starburst minis. The ones, the red pack with the red strawberries, and I think there's a third one, but it's got that, that cherry kind of flavor. Okay, cool, cool, okay. Now you know what to uh, buy Dwayne for candy if he comes to your house, trick or treating, saying I'm a DJ, which he is <laughs> for Halloween. Give him some Starburst, some Skittles, 
and he'll be happy as all heck. Uh, I'm going to go over to uh, I'm going to go over to Hunter. Hunter, what is your candies of choice? Well, I really do like Mike and Ike's, and I also like Kit Kats. I like you know Skittles and Starburst, just like Dwayne. And uh, yeah, I also like. What's, your, what's your favorite? If there was a if there was a bunch of candies in front of you, um, what would be the first well, one you grab? Mike and Ike's. Definitely Mike and Ike's. The original or some of the other um, like, additional flavors like tropical well, or yeah I, yeah I like tropical and original. Okay, okay. Jeff, what is uh, your uh, candy of choice? Uh, I'm partial to Heath. Heath bars. The, uh, Heath bars. Yeah. Uh, um, if it's a road trip, um, I, I'm partial to uh, the Lifesaver gummies, especially the uh, cherry flavored ones. Those are uh, really really good. Whenever whenever I'm traveling with the family, I open that up. The aroma just hits the entire car immediately, and the, the boys are usually in the back seat, and they're immediately, I want some, I want some. So, and so they can smell so it. They, no they, matter. they, do, it wakes they them do this. Up. They're they're on their because again we were doing teenagers. They're on their phones. They're like, uh, can I have some? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> if if, if they're sleeping, they'll wake up when they smell it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna hit up. I'm gonna actually gonna hit next. Uh, Matt. Matt. What is your candies that you love out there in the beautiful state of california uh i gotta go with reese's reese's all the way reese's uh, okay love peanut butter love chocolate uh especially if you try the reese's with the caramel uh inside the new one that they released this year that's life-changing probably that do you like uh, uh do you like what you call it no i don't like nuts uh no, it doesn't have I don't, nuts. I don't, well I don't, I don't think i've ever had one actually. that's right crispies yeah, I like I like crunch, so I probably would. Crunch oh, harder. have you had the have you had the Reese's Pieces? Yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't like M and M's, so uh, I don't like Reese's Pieces. You, you like the combination of chocolate and peanut butter together. Mm -hmm. If you like, this is the thing. I'm not a peanut butter fan, uh, but the only peanut butter candy I eat is what you call it. I do because it's very lightly peanut butter, so it's a little peanut butter like background, but it's Rice Krispie treats basically, uh, caramel chocolate. You know, all the fun stuff. So it's all delicious stuff. Uh, DJ Brentley, what about you? What is your uh, go-to candies? So I definitely like uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Way up there in my... And then peach gummy rings. Peach gummy rings. Okay. And occasionally we can substitute those for the Lifesaver gummy <laughs> rings. Mm -hmm. And with the Lifesaver gummy rings, as long as they're not the really crazy out there flavors, I'm all good with it. But in an honest to God's truth, you will definitely see at the side of my booth, some of my, like when I do Senior Pub Crawl Night or Oktoberfest, there's a couple bags of candy, the energy drinks, and everything I need to get me through like a 10-hour set. You know, uh, when I, a uh, long time ago when I worked for uh, Cost Plus World Market, um, they always have the international candies and they have, can you know, gummies and candies from Germany and Japan. And there's a lot of other candies around the world that you don't walk into like, let's say your local uh, Walgreens or CVS or whatever and see those candies. So it was, it was very interesting, especially the flavors and stuff like that. Like Haichu. I knew about Haichu before Haichu oh, yeah. really became big here. And I've always liked their stuff, but it, it's one of the things that, you know, it, it's, when you walk at a place that has play, uh, food from around the world, sometimes you find unique stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, if you, I was at the Mall of America the other day and went to the Japanese store, that like the Japanese uh, kind of candy, kind of good, house goods and stuff store, and probably spent like 80 bucks in candy from there. And at least 20 of that was on Pockies. Because you can't get the, where the different flavors here in the cross. You get, you know, strawberry or chocolate, and that's it. No so vanilla? Not in lacrosse, no. Really? Oh, no. Uh, I don't like to sound, you know, wrong about it, but it's white, white up here. We have a monk populace and a lot of white folks. And like when it, like I'll joke with people up, you know, who come up this way. We have bar food and cookie cutter chain restaurants. That's it. And that's all we have up here. So like, you know, going to the Mall of America the other day, I went, did a, big candy raid there and then went and did like the mo the donut shop up there and a few other things that you know 
probably put five pounds on me, but whatever. Oh, you you can you can get it. You can take it. You're a skinny dude, so you don't have to worry about it. Unlike me, who's a fat guy, uh, five pounds on me is is, is I don't need it. <laughs> but the one thing, maybe, maybe if you decide you want to stop DJing, maybe you go in and open a restaurant up with uh, Chicago-style hot dogs, Italian beef. No. no? I want I want nothing to do with service ever again. Oh, okay. The closest you get is me booking and kind of managing at Legends and Lacrosse here and helping out on the backside of it all. But you're not going to catch me in a kitchen or doing anything service-related, bartending, any of that ever again. I won't say ever, but in the likelihood in the rest of my life, I will never really want to. I don't know. I, 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 get, I, can see you, I can see you hawking boozy milkshakes and uh, – Italian beefs. I don't know. I, I just maybe it's just me, you know, doing doing kind of like a, a lacrosse version of uh, the, uh, the Wiener Circle, you oh, know, God, kind of like no. doing that, you know, but with, with better food. No, I couldn't. Uh, okay, you know, again, tourists, you go there to Wiener Circle, ask for chocolate shake. You know, you'll get you'll get fun. Please do, uh, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> What about you uh, over there in the beautiful state of New York? What What is your uh, choice of uh, sweets? Ah, uh, well, I like Milky Ways. Dark or regular? And regular. And oh, uh, so York like peppermint dark. patties. Oh, okay. Yeah. Give I, me I that like chill. Look what, look what I got in the background, though. The death chill. So. You got, you got uh, Ghostbusters in the background. Yes, Frozen Empire. So get that chill. Oh, there you go. Yep. Take peppermint pepper patties. Pepper and I'll give you that death chill. chill. Okay. Do you like Andy's mints by any chance? I do. I like those very much. Uh, there's actually a pizza place right down the street from me, and they give you Andy's mints right at the end of the, your, your meal. So uh, uh, I'm trying to think I'm not too it's... big fan of Junior Mints. Junior those Mints, yeah. The, the Chicago, Chicago stuff. That's Chicago made here. That's, uh, that's, yeah. um, uh, Tootsie. Um, I want to say it's Culver's. So Culver's or Andy 80s. One and two with custard you, as a mix-in, you can get Andy's mints as a mix-in. I want to say one of the two of them has it uh, as a mix-in on their uh, custard. So you can do a um, you can do a concrete where they take you know the, the custard and they add in toppings, kind of like a McFlurry, but you know, real oh, yeah. custard. And then they drop it, drop it and stuff. Um, my I've favorite taken for, the thin, for the thin mints in ice cream all the time, and they get so hard. Oh, what is up with it? It's like concrete. No, well, that's what they call the concretes, but they they, they do that. <laughs> uh, Andy's always has. If, if they open Andy's up near you, that is awesome custard. They just do custard. That's all they do. And of course, Culver's has their hamburgers and their other fast food items, the chicken tender stuff. Good stuff. I would probably say. If Matt came here, I would take him to a Culver's and see how it stacks up to In and Out Burger. It's it's kind of the Midwestern, I guess, a Midwestern version of In and Out Burger. I never Nothing had In and Out. I'd love to go out there and try it. Nothing stacks up to In and Out. I don't Sorry. know. I would have you try it, man. I would take you. Say hey, I'll I, try it. Again, I, would, I would have to say hey, let's try it. As someone who's had both, I'm going to have to side with Matt here. In and Out Burger takes the crown. It's just so good, and it's so consistent, and it's just. Like, yeah, it's not a thick burger, but it's like, it's just, ugh. especially after a night of drinking, it's the best thing ever. It's not a White Castle, is it? No. No, no. In and out, it, they're big burgers. <laughs> right. I've had All White right. Castle. <clears throat> in a last resort on a night of drinking, I would do a White Castle, but I'm not prepared to deal with that heartburn anymore because it is yeah. awful. <laughs> is that yeah. the heartburn I worry about? Is the uh, after effects and in the uh, the restroom for a while. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking, of, speaking of candies and having fun and restrooms, uh, the reason why I say that because they got a bunch of kids over at their house. Uh, Taylor and Jordan, they got the, they they get all the candies because they send the kids out for Halloween and they have all the candies come back in. And oh, I'm, yeah, I'm sure mom and dad have to sample to <laughs> yeah, make sure it's like poison. Control. Make sure there's no drugs in the candy. Well, that's yeah. there you go. Got to sample it. What is yeah. uh? What, 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 what is your uh? Uh, cho a choice of candy for the two of you. Um, well, I have a top three. Okay. Um, my top three would be the Reese's with the chips in them. Reese's, Reese's. cups with the chips. Reese's. And then, 
Not Reese's. Reese's. <laughs> they even posted it on their Instagram to correct everybody. Ah, uh, my God. Sorry. Can I just call it Reese's? It's no. Reese's. It's okay. It's Midwest. It says. <laughs> okay. The Reese's with the cups, or the Reese's with the chips, the um, Kit Kats. I like Kit Kats. And then also the Albany's uh, Grapefruit Gummy Bears. Grapefruit Gummy Bears. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. the Welch's Grapefruit Gummy Bears. I know what you mean. Well, we have like our the candy place over here, Albany's. Um, it's like... Uh, local candy. It's like a local candy oh. factory. I mean, they... They sell them all over the United States. Yeah, but... but um, yeah, they... They're uh, grapefruit gummy bears. Yeah, when you fruit when you go was it down thirty, you see the signs for it, right? Uh huh. Yeah. 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 It's on. 30. Um, they they're they they uh they they do chocolates. They do a bunch of. It's kind of like for uh, if I go north, it would be Long Girl Confectionery. They have mm -hmm. all the chocolates up there. I, mm -hmm. I think the place by you has more because they do gummies and stuff like that. But so yes, now you yeah. know what to make Taylor happy. You get her to Reese's with the chips in it. And yes, you get her I, I haven't seen them in a while, so I don't know if they stopped making them. Eh, it might have been LTO, you know, living to time my offer. Way. <laughs> what, what about you, Jordan? What do you, what's your favorites? Uh, my go-to is probably now and laters, but I do like an Abba Zabba. Abba Zabba. There you go. You oh, like the taffy? Butter taffy. Oh, I love taffy. So which, which flavor now and later? Ooh, probably blue. The blue raspberry. What about the, what about Charleston chews? Those are pretty good. What's your flavor on that one? Probably just the regular, like the, the vanilla. White. Yeah, the vanilla. The white and the blue flavor. Do my my like favorite it? for that would be strawberry. That would be my favorite for that. You know, that's this that's always interesting. You ever freeze them? Yes. <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time. Tracy actually <laughs> got me a couple uh, a couple weeks ago because. All right, so here, here's one of the things that we do. We get um, protein bars to take with us to weddings because a lot of times we don't eat. You know, you drink water, you drink pop, you you, you drink non-alcoholic beverages. But, you know, again, you want, you're want you hungry. You're there for multiple hours. So we usually have some protein bars. And, again, I don't need the calories, fat guy. So we I try to, you know, eat, you know, quasi-healthy. And the the bars, I can't remember what company it is, but it's it's a it's a whip bar. It's kind of like a marshmallow like consistency, and they have strawberry, and it remind me so much of the Charleston Chew strawberry. It's like a chocolate covered, and, you know, and it's like, yeah. And I was talking to her, and she got me some Charleston shoes because she loves me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to see a show of hands here. Who here is giving out candy for Halloween? Matt, you're not giving out candy? I live in an apartment complex. Where am I going to give out candy? It's all working professionals that live here. Nobody's going to come by. There's, there's like three treat. kids. Trunk or treat. No, it's like three kids that go. Bre no. Brentley's probably working at a bar. I know he's got to deal, deal with lacrosse, man, which is kind of like dealing with Florida, man. I'm going to be programming lights. I'm probably, I got some new uh, wash effects, uh, not wash effects, uh, eliminators version, and uh, they're they're cool. They're they're really cool. The, what the what about wash. you, Dwayne? What, what are you doing for? <clears throat> probably nothing. But I think my granddaughter might be handing off some candy. So yeah, well, go over there and start yeah. grab some candy for yourself first. You know, quality yeah. control <laughs> is always important with candy. If it's candy that you can have, I don't want you. Having chocolate and breaking out. I don't want to see that. <laughs> so you got some Skittles? You know, you got to try them out. Got to make sure they're fresh, you know? <laughs> um, One of the things I, I saw today, I saw uh, Matt put a video out for his uh, um, gig log, and I saw the new speakers you have. I, I Really quickly, I want to touch on that. Uh, you got a 12-inch speaker. What did you think of those LD 12-inch speakers? Uh, they're phenomenal. Uh, I've actually had them since August. I just, uh, the gig logs I've put out have been either bigger shows or installed sound systems or whatever, but I have three more gig logs that I've recorded. Uh, I think they're all using, two of them are using those speakers. So, uh, they're great. I mean, the Stinger series, uh, LD really has it just down to where they've EQ'd them and DSP'd them just so well that it, they just sound great out of the box. Uh, and then you just pair them with, 
enough low enough low end and they're great i mean they're loud i think i've only gotten them to even have the clip light come on once just because they they scream especially with subs um they're just great speakers so um they actually sent me an extra one if anybody wants it i have a brand new one in a box ready to ship uh for some reason i they sent me three instead of two and uh i i sent it back to the company uh like a couple days after receiving it and then two weeks ago it two weeks ago it appeared at my parents doorstep so uh i guess the company doesn't want it so <laughs> got a brand new one in a box if anybody wants a good deal on a oh, there stinger, you go. stinger speaker but they're they're great i was gonna ask um i'm looking at getting like a maui 5 go for my ceremony setup more for cocktail hour but uh mm. is the top of the speaker flat like can i uh velcro on a mic receiver to the top of the top part of the speaker it is it is there was a little curvature to it but it is not a heavy curve to it it's a okay. lightly rounded it's not flat flat but it's not gotcha. totally circular so it is something you could with uh some velcro uh attach hey what's going on mike oh. what's going on uh nathan uh it's you could attach hey. <laughs> yeah that's what that's my plan uh so i probably going to purchase one of those just because I, I like my ceremony sound to be a little better especially with what i'm charging and the thump go is good but not when you're in like a bigger room uh or just even in general because there's no low end separation i i would i would say that if you you want you want good sound get two and have one each side and run the, you know split the signal that i ain't bringing that more there I ain't bringing that much gear. This just co this is just cocktail hour. I don't I don't mix during cocktail hour. This is just a, a spot. I, see, I do, I do. But for you, I'm not setting I up something do. separate. See, well, I do again, some, some of us are DJs, some of us are iPods. You know. <laughs> see, see, I mix during cocktail hour and dinner. I'm not I mix during. To... Yeah, I mix during cocktail hour and dinner. I'm not trying to take extra hours to tear down. Sorry. Uh, it, oh, Maui Five put together what? What did you say? What did you say, Brentley? Probably eight minutes no, not, total for two. I'm not doing a DJ setup somewhere. Five like, minutes, eight minutes, not even because I'm using my toad. My cables are right there. I just throw two cables down, drop them in place, and I'm pretty much good to go. Yeah, once I'm you not, stack those Maui's, it takes like two minutes to stack them. That's it. Yeah. I mean, what's our two? Right. Do a little that DMX lighting, I see, sir. Maui. No, they don't DMX over there, but we're watching the Dodgers win. Oh, okay. Kansas City won. That's all that matters. Kansas City Kansas won City what? Chiefs? Football. Yeah, Kansas City oh, Chiefs. Cares? You don't live in Kansas City. Mm. I do. Well, you, got, you got a Cowboys fan there, and you got a Chiefs fan there. Giants fan. Oh, Giants. That's right. I'm sorry, Giants. Giants fan. I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I forgot. Anyway, yeah. Those so I gotta ask you both, uh, Mike and Nathan, what is your candies of choice? If someone comes up with a candy, what is your candy of choice? Like actual candy? Yeah, yeah candy. It's Halloween this week, so I'm asking everyone. No, what the talking candies about are. No, not nose candy. Uh, so, so that wasn't an option. No. <laughs> I'm diabetic, so I don't really eat much candy anymore. But I don't know. I kind of like an old school Butterfinger every now and again. There you go. Okay. And actually, um, like yes. Butterfinger, anything with peanut butter has protein that counteracts a lot of sugar. So it actually is, if you're going to eat a candy bar, peanuts or uh, peanut butter is a little healthier for someone who is has some problem with sugars. Uh, Nathan. Nathan, what's your, what's your candy? We had so we're out here shooting YouTube videos, and the neighbor just came over. Mike's over there talking to her. Um, likes what we're doing out here. She's like, "This is so cool." So that is how you get YouTube subscribers, right there. Yeah, well, there you go. I played with her earlier, but yeah, she's right over there. But we're doing. I, I know. I know. Solstice doesn't like it, but Sheds has sent us eight par likes. <laughs> to do videos on. They sent me two, then Mike two, and then I had problems with my, one of mine and I ended up fixing it. And they sent me two more. Well, they sent Mike two more for no reason. So now we've got eight of them. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's over $1,200 right there. We got <coughs> it. Anyway, it's secret. 
take advantage so, of it and make a video and uh, have fun with it. That's what we're doing. We're out here at a – now, this is something I don't know if you guys have ever actual DJed outside or a – A band uh, shell? Yep. It's an amphitheater. I don't know if you can see that behind me there. This is yep. an amphitheater. Mm -hmm. So, and this is outdoors, and then we've got seating, concrete seating, and then there's a pavilion up there, and we've got eight up lights out there. We've been shooting video for probably an hour, and then we've got some other lights we're going to do videos on too here next. But yeah, I mean it's it's cool. They got a bunch of hanging lights uh, up there that just shoot straight down. Now the Matt Tune Amphitheater has um, what do you call it? Um, I actually have par lights, waterproof par lights like these, and I also have waterproof moving heads, like really, really expensive moving heads up there. Right. So they have bands out here. Um, this is where we did uh, sound for Daryl's first church service. This was here. But uh, it's nice. We've been out here shooting. <clears throat> where these lights are okay, but I mean, they're, uh, I, I will say, some things that sheds have are better than others, like these Corolla pars that they call them. They're okay, but I mean, how many DJs or people use as par lights anymore? I do. Well, I use the watch effects too. I mean, I guess yeah, you watch effects oh, are cool. I'm about to buy like four more of those things, but because me and Mike's doing a um, Christmas in the heart of Charleston, the ice skating rinks again, oh. we're locking it all up. So we're, I'm going to get some more of them and possibly use these depending on if it's raining or not or snowing or it is in December. So, <clears throat> but. Yeah, that's now uh, that's, trying to that, find a that's flight cool. That, that's cool that you got those pars, a few extras sent to you, and that uh, you're making some uh, content for YouTube, as always, you know. And make sure one thing if you're out there watching, make sure that you go and check out everyone's YouTube channels. All the links are down below. Um, I try to make sure everyone's available for their YouTube, except for Chris. Chris is the only one who doesn't have, well, sorry. Uh, Jordan and Taylor, they don't have a YouTube channel yet. Hopefully they will one day. And then uh, Chris, I'd like to see Chris with a YouTube channel. Oh, the man oh has yeah. A lot of information, awesome. a lot of great stuff. So I am, I'm up here on this uh, concrete deal. So it's concrete and there's rock. But I'm up here, if you mean almost all the way up, but that's what it looks like from a distance. Looks cool, Nathan. Nice. Looks cool. Looks nice. So if you guys ever do decide to get – trying to flip my camera back around. There we go. Um, if you ever decide to get um, anything from Sheds, uh, we, me and Mike both have better affiliate links. Like if you want something and you're close, like Buddy, if you ever wanted something, I can get 50% off the price that they have, and so can Mike. Oh, Mike just good. ordered his first – so if you guys ever do decide you want anything from them, which some of their stuff is really good. We've never had a super big problem with it, but um, so, yeah. But and back to the do candy quest. You do a B-topper, you do with a few manufacturers. So if you uh, want to, if you're up there watching, if you're up there watching and if you want to contact, uh, uh, you want to contact Nathan and he would then send you a link to go to B-topper and Sheds and a few other companies he deals for lighting. Uh, you can purchase stuff uh, from those manufacturers, and then uh, Nathan will uh, get a little kudos. And same thing with Mike. Mike as well. He will, uh, if you can go and uh, buy some lights through his affiliate link, it's always greatly appreciated. Helps support other small businesses and other local DJs or just other brother and sister DJs around the country. It's always great to do that. And again, but, it, uh, it looks great down Mike, there. <laughs> My candy thing, uh, as I was talking, I was thinking, I used to be a big Zeros fan or like... Um, like a Zagna. Uh, yeah, Zagna's thing. Um, yeah, what's the one I have? Like, I don't... Reese's Peanut Butter Cups frozen in the freezer overnight. Like, who who loves a frozen Reese's Peanut, peanut Butter Cup? Yeah. yeah Bradley does. They're good. I, I, think, I think Matt does. I, I grab I grab a bag of those like I'll get the ones that have like half white chocolate half dark chocolate uh, Kit Kats the Halloween style Kit Kats like the white ones and the green ones those frozen in the freezer those are good um, 
I like I like candy I can suck on too, like something that's gonna. Oh, now listen now. Fucking <laughs> cheese, milk. No, no, barbie. keep it G rated. Uh, oh, here comes. Hey, this. uh, so I uh, what's that one? Jawbreakers. But when I'm mowing, I like to have something flavorful, you know, to suck on, or you know, especially when it's dry weather, it keeps my, you know, I, I have allergies real bad. So anything. Lemon I can heads. Keep, lemon heads. Lemon, lemon heads, heads are always lemon heads are always good. Warheads. Lemon heads are always good. Those so, little strawberry things too, they're good. Yep. Always fun with candy. Well, oh, we but, got uh we got a guest DJ here, uh Paul from Ollie from Melbourne, Australia. Uh he uh messaged and asked uh if he can come in. He's gotta wait for him to turn on his uh camera and uh un unmute himself so he can talk. Well, me and Mike are going to go back to filming and get no this problem. You guys stuff. be safe. Enjoy yeah. yourself, Mike. Good seeing you. Hey, happy happy ready. Halloween to both you guys. Be safe happy and uh, look forward to your, your uh, videos, man. Both you guys. Hey, see y'all later. Right. See you later, here guys. Oh, hopefully, Paul will go and mutes himself and turns his camera on. Uh, so now we got the candy out of the way and a fun stuff. Oh, Brantley left. Probably had. Oh, there he is. Don't hear you. This guy who, uh, I guess, head headset. Plug That's in. The... There we go. Anything good? Can't hear you. No sound. Hello? Oh, there we go. I heard something. Hello? Yep. There yep. You, got, bit you got to adjust your volume. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah. Much better. Sorry about this, guys. No problem. Quite all right. And can you hear me now? Now, we there we go. Now we got some, now we're cooking with gas here. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, thanks, sir. Allow me into the, uh, uh, into the round table, uh, buddy and everyone else in the, uh, in the group yeah well welcome welcome all the way from australia from melbourne and we also have uh dj diablen kurt he's always great to come in from australia as well uh, uh I think he's, he's up in queensland <laughs> yep he's on the other side of the the continent for me right yep yep yeah yeah he's in the nice uh nice weather kind of like florida weather in uh, up in uh, mckay well melbourne you, you don't get too cold right you get you get cool but you don't get you don't get snow and ice no, no, we don't get that. No, not really. Uh, I guess uh, it, we're kind of like Boston without the snow. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's about the best I could describe it as. No. So, it, okay. Well, again, you're also living in the future, too. It's Wednesday there. It's still Tuesday night Even. for us. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, Wednesday, uh, uh, 25 to 1 in the afternoon. So. Yep. Yep. I was trying to do the conversion when I was talking to you, trying to figure it out. Okay, you're you're 17 hours before me, so <laughs> trying to do the conversion yeah, so that way I have the the right times for everything. That's always the hard part. The um, excellent. The, the the big thing I, I wanted to also ask you guys. We we're just talking a little bit because uh, Halloween is this coming Thursday. Uh, I was asking uh, the group what is their favorite candies, and I know Australia has some unique candies, probably candies we never heard of. But what is your go-to candy uh, that you uh, that you would love to have? And someone gave you an offer to say, "Hey, I have some candy here. You want some?" Run of the mill candy, you know, you can't go past a Snickers bar or a Mars bar. Um, if you want to sort of make it a little bit more fancy, I, I do like Lint chocolate uh, or Ferrero oh. Rocher, the little Ferrero Rochers. Uh, you know, oh. that's that's. But, but you know, they're they're, they're uh, you know. Uh, they can be expensive, but you know, uh, you know, like I said. But my go-to candy bar would be, you know, uh, a Snickers bar. You know, so. And I think your Mars bar is what we would consider a Three Musketeers bar. <coughs> probably, yeah. I remember. I've, you know, I've, well, I've tried American candy, so yeah, it'd be that'd be probably be Three closest. Musketeers. So that would be that would be that would be another one that would be uh, if you had Americanized it, that'd be. Kind of, kind of a Snickers bar without the nuts. Yeah, it has a nougat and yeah. it has a chocolate. Yeah, fluff. 
So I, I want to ask you guys really quickly, because again, next week, we're not going to be here next week because uh, um, the with the with for the elections, that way people can vote and we get actually an audience um, like we usually get. And that way people are not uh, going, what do I want to watch? Um, it, it's, it's one of the things I wanted to ask you guys. Um, with coming up in November, because again, next time we come back, won't be until uh, the second week in November, is... Your schedule for the holiday season, far as are you getting holiday bookings or not? So are you seeing people asking about holiday parties for corporate or want holiday parties for home or anything like that? Uh, what is your booking for this holiday season? Are you seeing any yet? So I'm going to start with uh, Hunter. Hunter, are you getting any inquiries for the holiday season for parties? Nope, I haven't had a Halloween party or a uh, holiday party, Christmas party since 2019. Okay. Yeah, it's been, been crazy uh, down here in South Carolina since COVID, trying to get some bookings. But I do have a birthday party coming up in the next four days, which that's going to be fun. There you go. Are we going to get a gig log? Oh, yeah. Got to have a gig log. Yep. What about you, Chris? Are you getting any inquiries for any holiday holiday parties over there by you in New York? Um, I have not. Um, Christmas time and the holiday season is very uh, personally busy with, uh, you know, ending the semester of the college the last couple of years. So I've been very uh, distant from doing DJ jobs right now during that holiday season. Um, but I did get an inquiry last year. I had one, but... Uh, they uh, wanted almost volunteer, so I couldn't do it. Okay, so nothing yet for you, but uh, again, with your regular job, work at the university, it's it's hard. Um, Jeff, what about you? Have you had any inquiries uh, from schools or anything like that for a holiday party or anything? Or uh, no, not from schools. Got one um, uh, Christmas party scheduled. Um, uh, it's a corporate. Uh, I'm sorry. It's a club. It's a club party, club Christmas party. Um, that's about all I've got. Uh, I'll be traveling, you know, to Florida at Christmas. So uh, don't really, whatever is going to be done needs to be done, you know, in uh, before mid December. So, well, you could bring your gear with you along with everything else in, yeah. in your SUV. And... No, I'm traveling with a uh, car load and a mother-in-law. So, oh, okay. Well, yeah, that says everything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it'll be a it'll be a little I'll pack. The mother-in-law so, unhappy. Yeah, we're we're going to well, we're going to Universal, but without the mother-in-law, we're dro dropping her at uh, at my wife's dad's house. So that'll be interesting. So, <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. <coughs> so, Brantley, what about you? Have you have any? Uh, inquiries besides the uh, clubs a couple and honest to god's truth i tend when i got i was very clear with them if they can't you know pay x price i'm not interested because i'll make that at the club and a lot of the holiday parties around lacrosse they definitely want to lowball you it's three to five hundred dollars and i'm like for that kind of work no i'm going down to the club where i'm just bring my laptop and plug in and go. So for the most part, I really don't. I am doing one this year, and it's literally me bringing an iPad for a playlist, making about 20 announcements throughout the course of the evening, and it's three hours. And so I can still do that and go to my club gig. And it's also doing the venue's manager a huge favor because no one has the lights, the uplighting, the number of uplights I do in the area. So, yeah, okay, here, we'll do this. Bring 30 up lights, make the room look, you know, pretty for two hours, break it all down, and then run downtown. Cool. But aside from that, most of the other ones, I'm honestly, if it's not a club or a wedding, not interested. Okay. Yeah, again, sometimes some some of the companies or some of the people, they like, you know, they they want to be cheap and they expect DJs to – you know, a couple hundred bucks, and it's like, no, what's the cost of a gallon of gas? What's the cost of, you know, for my, what's my time worth? And that's, that's one of the things as a DJ, you always have to figure out is what is your, what is your time worth? What is it cost for you to walk out that door? I know my no, walk out the door price to do something and it's not $300. It's way more than that. <laughs> and with some of the bigger corporations, I will truly consider it because 
I know if you're working at, you know, certain companies in this area, you have a killer salary. All the big wigs make a lot of money. So, yeah, I might be inclined to take some. And I've done a couple like that just because of the company, which resulted in more weddings later on down the road. But I'm not, again, I'm not going to take that chance on something that isn't pretty and perfect for an a event that won't merit something later on down the road. And that's the other thing is, do you, do you do, get right? something now and to get something later? Or do you say, hey, you know what, I, you, you're no guarantee that after that event, you're going to have a bunch of other customers coming at you, beating down your door saying, hey, I want to hire you for X, Y, Z. So that's why you have to look at, okay, every individual event is a single item. And if I'm going to do this event, I'm going to charge X amount of dollars for that. I'm going to cover my costs. I need to make revenue because I got to pay my bills. And I need to have some money on the side so I can buy new gear, buy new equipment, and so forth and so on. And that goes back into your costs because then now you have to depreciate that gear over time, but you still got to pay for that gear, and the gear is not cheap. You know, when you look at, like, a, let's say, a, a speaker, for a decent speaker, you're looking at $1,000 for a, one speaker. If you're looking at, you know, again, lower speakers, okay, fine, great, no problem. But if you want a good speaker, you're starting at about $1,000 and going up from there. So you have to look at what you want to spend, too. So you have to include that into your costs. And, again, we all have bills to pay. No one's paying my bills. I have to pay it. You know, the, the electric company says, hey, give me your money. You know, the gas company says, give me money. You know, the, the, the government says for property tax, give me money. I got to pay that. The cable company, you go down the whole entire list. They all want their money. Speaking of money and speaking of fun, I know uh, to, uh, Taylor and Jordan over in Northwest Indiana, they're always having fun, especially right. with the beautiful weather outside right now. I'm jealous of you guys. I wish I could move my my office outside. I was thinking I was thinking that for a little bit today in the driveway, doing the show for the driveway because it's you know nice out. But I'm like, ah, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> But what, what, what do you what do you guys how are you guys doing are you guys getting any inquiries for the holidays? Yeah. yeah, we always do stuff during the holidays. We have uh Singo going on. That's always winter fall winter thing. And we have like our be couple. DJing at the bars or Christmas parties. Uh, we got a couple core. corporate Christmas parties coming up. Uh I have a candy table like holiday candy tables for um Yeah, we do like a dessert companies. thing. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, we got a good, less uh, weddings uh, though. Quite a few, and they don't come in typically until this time. They just start it coming in, so we'll probably pick up a few more here in the next month. For and Christmas. that, that's, yeah, December. everyone kind of books last minute for Christmas parties. It seems like, <laughs> and that that's one of the things also is having network of people. Um, I know I've had a couple of DJs I've reached out to, as well as they reached out to me for you know for information about. Either they have stuff or they, or I had cl clients I can't service and Hey, you know what? Uh, talk to DJ so-and-so see if they, they, they're available for your date for your event and then talk to them. But that's mm -hmm. another thing. Also make sure you have your circle of other DJs you're talking to in your area that you're going to and say, Hey, um, how, how are you with parties? Are you guys, are you booked up? Oh yeah. I'm getting, Oh, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm open a few days. If you have some, if you have some parties that you don't eat, that you, you know, you can't service, you know, please keep me in mind. And then what you always want to do is thank them and, you know, make sure that you, you, you appreciate them. Take them to lunch, buy them a, go take them to lunch, take, buy them a hamburger, you know, go, <laughs> go do something because the fact that, you know, you want to show them, Hey, thank you very much for that. And that's, that's, that's the thing is that, you know, we're all in the same, you know, world in the same realm. But it's always nice, you know, when when those people who you get, send a gig to, um, they they say, hey, thank you, they appreciate. Even if it's just a basic thank you, that's the important stuff, you know. Be appreciative Absolutely. if someone sends you, uh, you know, hopefully a gig toward you. Uh, Paul, down there in beautiful Australia, what about you? Holiday season? Are you uh, are you doing anything? Are you getting any inquiries for you? Um, I did a at the moment. Uh, we're sort of. Uh coming into spring and in Melbourne they have a thing called the spring racing carnival they have I guess the Melbourne equivalent you've, you've probably heard of it the Melbourne cup which is kind of like the Kentucky Derby kind of thing so it's, it's a horse race thing very popular with the sort of you know the the millennials and stuff now um 
and last Friday I did a an event at, at a uh, at uh, at one of the race courses. Um, uh, hopefully, you know that. And again, it's it's like with DJing always. It's always last minute. You know, hey, can you do this for us? Uh, um, we'd like to have some entertainment on board, sort of thing. But uh, other than that, um, it, it's sort of uh, no sort of weddings or or birthdays or anything scheduled sort of for the next couple of weeks anyway. But uh, um, for the next maybe two weeks, uh, yeah, there's uh, a few of these uh, you know racing uh, club uh, horse racing club events that are coming up. So, well, that's good, and that that's good that you're you're busy down there and you're staying busy. What about you, Mr. Dixon? What about, are you uh, having inquiries for uh, some events coming up for uh, holiday parties? Or uh, yep, um, the guy that's responsible for doing the um, the staff party at the school I work with, he had told me that he's scheduling another one, so he'll let me know of the date. So I have that one booked, and there's a possibility of having something else done during that time from the um, event I did this weekend. And then, of course, I have my family um, get-togethers. So at least I have those two for sure and the possibility of a couple of others. All right. And finally, Matt, out there in SoCal, I know he's always busy with between weddings, schools, and all the other craziness going on out there. Do you got any holiday parties you have coming up for you, sir? Of course. We have five uh, on the books. Four of them are companies that we've uh, done in the past. Um, so it's good to see the repeat business. And then the other one is a new one, uh, found me through Google. Uh, I get a lot of corporate inquiry. I mean, we just did a bunch of corporate events last week. Um, I do really well with corporate through my Google listing. So, uh, you know, I mean, we've got 196 five-star reviews, so nobody even comes close to our numbers in this area. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I've got a couple weddings in December too. Um, a couple big ones, actually, I got one that's a 12 hour wedding, uh, it's pushing like upwards of almost ten thousand uh dollars -huh. worth of stuff in that one. Uh, so uh, that's ten, that's twelve hours of like actual wedding time, not twelve hour a day. Like <laughs> it's from two to two. Like <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, and then we got I got a bar mitzvah bat mitzvah that's actually looking cool. It's at a nightclub in Hollywood called Avalon, which I've always dreamt of DJing there. So uh, that's gonna be dope. They have a custom built EAW sound system with forty inch subwoofers. Um, only in the like only place in the world they have that fully custom rig from EAW and it sounds incredible. So the summer's oh, like we got, so, they're still wait wait are you are you eyeing a new sound system then? Are you gonna go all EEW and uh, no. build a sound system <laughs> for you? Because I know you the are only, with the subwoofers, only... you know. They ain't I might you only... got to throw it back. No, no. The only the only thing I might do I might uh, sell the eight thousand eight the RCF I have. Uh, uh, and get a base boss dual 18 instead that's the only thing i might do um just because i like the 8008 but i feel like i could get a louder dual 18 uh for not that much more money so um the only problem is the base boss doesn't fit under any standard table so it would kind of mess with the way i'm doing the setup but awesome table the, other than that uh other than that um for sound like i'm probably gonna get the maui 5 go and then might pick up the HK like Polar 12s just because I kind of like the convenience of a calm system that's not the crappy ones that are already out there. Um, so we'll see. Well, here, here's one of the things you can always do. You can put the table on top of the eight, dual, dual 18. I do to support the two sides, build a couple uh, legs with two by fours. That's, I mean, what's, that's what I, that's what I do is I, I have a, uh, we don't bring tables to venues, but uh I have uh, five inch risers uh, for one. And then I've got like a six or seven inch riser. Uh, that's like, it's called lift. The great advice for anybody out there on Amazon. It's called lift your table. They're a little like table riser legs that just pop onto the bottom of tables. They have two different styles, one for the slant legs, one for the straight legs. And uh, they raise your table to a normal height. So you don't hurt your back. And if they give you a jankier table that doesn't fit with cylindrical legs, I have uh, basically like bed riser type things and I've got a three inch and a two inch. I just stack the two of those, bring the table up to height. And uh, then I could fit the, I could fit the dual 18 under there, but uh, base boss is a bit larger. So we'll see. Yeah. And again, it's all, it's always fun playing with gear is always fun to us. Here, here's a, a thing. <laughs> um, I ran into this past weekend, a venue 
uh, this past Friday did not allow tape. So no gaffer tape to tape down cables. And I always like to make sure cables are taped down. Uh, so uh, you saw through some of social media, uh, I was in the corner. I had the, the booth pushed all the way against the wall. So that way the outlet was actually inside our booth. So there's no cables. And then ran the speakers all wirelessly. So uh, there's no cables between us and the speakers. But uh, one of the things uh, I know uh, DJ Rachel uh, has used uh, plenty of times and actually the facility offers is mats to cover. And I was looking at, you know, when the home improvement stores, they're not outrageously expensive, like $22, $23 for like a standard mat. You have a couple of them with you. And if you run into a situation instead of putting tape down or you're getting in a situation you can't use tape, you have those couple of mats, especially you know beforehand, you grab those mats, put in your vehicle, or if you have a vehicle that you can store a couple things in, have a few of those mats on board, especially like outside, you can cover those cables and it lessens the likelihood of something happening because the last thing you want is someone tripping over your cables because you're the one liable. And I don't know about you guys, I don't want the insurance company coming at me saying, hey, uh, you didn't do due diligence and, that, and we're not going to cover you. So <coughs> there's another cough. But, you know, that's one of the things that um, I, I think I'm going to add that for this upcoming uh, season uh, for next year, get a couple of mats and uh, add that to our repertoire because uh, why not? Because I have the room in the van, I might as well. The um, the big thing as well, like I said before, uh, with Halloween come up this week, um, I, I know, uh, Brantley, you're doing uh, some stuff uh, this week at the bar, oh, yeah. at the clubs. And anyone else doing anything this week with uh, music for Halloween? No? Um, I know uh, t uh, Thursday when I set up outside for my uh, little uh, display to hand out candy, uh, I will definitely be having um, one of my speakers in the bush. And uh, I have uh, actually a, a Halloween mix I have here of Halloween songs and, you know, uh, sound effects of, you know, ghouls and ghosts and stuff like that that I've done before. And I play that, it comes out of the, you know, a speaker in the bush, uh, bushes behind me at my house. And people are always like, you know, you know where did you, where did you get that? Who did that? I'm like, I did that because I'm, I'm a DJ. So I did that. So that, that's one of the things if you guys are going to have trick or treaters over, it might be, it not be a bad thing to make a mix of like, you know, the Halloween songs like monster mash and thriller, stuff like that. And add in those, you know, sound effects in there. And just make it a fun mix of, you know, fun Halloween songs, you know, one eye, one horn, purple people eater, that kind of stuff, you know, and make it a fun thing. Um, that way people come to you, come to your area. You have some cool music. You have some something different than the standard of uh, either nothing or just the, the regular playlist on like uh, uh, one of the other online services. This way you have your own thing you can point to. Someone says, hey, what, what channel is that? My own channel. I'm a DJ. You never know what door opens up with that, and that might be a way to someone's like, oh, you're a DJ. Oh, do you do this? Do you do that? Oh, yeah, here, here's my card. Always have a card on you. That's one of the things you can do with a little marketing. Takes a uh, you know a few minutes to do. Oh, oh. You, know, that gets, you know, that gives me an idea. Next Halloween, I definitely want to get some Philips Hue or Nano Leaf lights, like the ones that are outdoors, hook them up to my new Mark Mixing Pro, and do a little Halloween light show in my house. <laughs> That would be there, fun. There's a uh, you can do a gig log on that, and you can do a video on that. Uh, that there's a few yeah. videos on YouTube of people go all out their houses, and they have this crazy DMX with uh, you know a talking tree or talking pumpkins or, and they 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 do uh, a whole entire set to certain songs. Um, there's a couple of people on YouTube that have that. It's like a half hour, forty five minutes. And they actually have a wireless transmitter, not wireless transmitter, a low power FM transmitter. So they have a sign. They go to you know an office supply store and they have a sign made it says tune to FM, you know ninety seven point one, and you turn to that station. It's low power, so it's only working within you know fifty sixty feet, and they can listen to the music that you have playing, and they can see the mouse moving with that stuff. So if you're going to do something like that and you want to have that and not have the neighbors even hear anything, you can get a sign made up. You can buy one of those little FM transmitters. You can find them on Amazon, set it, and then plug into your Mixstream Pro, like you uh, do a cool thing, yeah. and have oh, your lights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and have this whole entire thing yeah. and say, hey, tune into this state radio station. Boom. 
and you can you can stream it too, and and people can go yeah. on to you, your YouTube or whatever, and then stream that uh, that music. Oh yeah. man, the hour goes by so quickly, and yeah. I know that uh, a lot of people are or enjoying a beautiful weather out there and a beautiful night. Um, I, I'm jealous still of uh, Taylor and Jordan over there, and you know mm -hmm. they're enjoying the beautiful weather. They're gonna have fun with uh, Halloween. I know with the kids and stuff like that, they're gonna be running around. Oh, what the what what's the hot costume this year? Um, well, my kids decided, um, my youngest, Willie, he got one of those blow up ones of him riding a dinosaur. Ah, uh, okay. And then my oldest, Kennedy, she's going to be a sumo wrestler. So it blows up. And ah. I was surprised they picked them, but that's what they wanted. So they're excited. My, my granddaughter, my, right this year. my granddaughter, last I heard was Wednesday Adams, but I don't think she has a wig. I, that black, I think she has black hair. Uh, Bradley, what about your daughter? What is she going to dress up as? I don't think she's doing anything this year. I think they're just going to go hang out with their friends and their big mob of unruly 12-year-old girls and go cause a ruckus. Oh, great. Uh, Tweens really in lacrosse. That right there. Code Blue Cam on YouTube. Please watch that. Uh, uh, they always have great stuff for lacrosse. I, I will be in the convertible if it's warm enough. About a block or two back, watching her on my GPS, kind of trailing behind. And I, I well, think we should alert the uh, yeah. lacrosse police uh, where those uh, lovely tweens are going to be at because uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of screaming, yelling, what normally tweens do. And I've, I've been around that before, you know, when my daughter was young. And now I'm going to relive it again with my granddaughter because she turns nine in December. I'm just, I'm just like cringing a little bit, like, oh, God, don't, don't grow any older. Please don't get any older. I had four of them at Mall of America for Saturday and Sunday, including my daughter. That was a long two days. Four, all twelve or thirteen. I'm still not recovered from it. What about you, yeah, Jeff? What about you, Jeff? All in all. <laughs> yeah. There you go. What about you, so. Jeff? Are, are your kids dressing <laughs> up, or they're too old? They don't do that. Uh, the oldest will be driving over to his girlfriend's house and hanging out with her, probably just, you know, handing out some candy. The youngest is having uh, three of his buddies over here. They're going to hang out in the hot tub and then go out and. Uh, trick or treat. He is getting some type of costume. I mean, he's almost fifteen. You know, this is probably one of the last times they'll they'll do that. But but when they do it, they go out with like a um, a, a pillowcase. You know, and they fill it up. I mean, they they it's a it's a uh, it is a contest to see who can come back with the most candy. So yeah, that's um, I'll be dealing with that. Luckily, they don't have school the next day. So, which is, I think, uh, it should be a national holiday, uh, November 1st. So, <laughs> And also, <laughs> well, they should have also a free uh, date at the dentist, too, on November 1st yeah. or 2nd to check yep. for all the cavities from all the canned sugar, as well as uh, make sure that uh, they're going to be uh, tweaked all night from all that uh, lovely sugar and they got crashed the next day. Uh, so with that said... Oh, I'm actually gonna. I'm, you know, I'm actually gonna dress up this Halloween. I'm actually gonna be Maverick from <laughs> Top. Gun. I'm gonna be Maverick from Top Gun. All right, there we go. Yeah. You got you got the aviators. Oh yeah, there you go. They're actually prescription Ray Bans. So there yeah, they're they're there really good. Go. Well, with that said, it comes to the end of another show. Uh, DJ Paul, all the way from beautiful Australia. Glad you can come in tonight. Came, and uh, hopefully we'll have you back here again, you know, next for time. For sure, for sure. I, I kind of feel a little bit sort of, you know, uh, a bit of fanboy sort of, you know, happening here, you know, uh, almost, uh, you know, celebrities yourself, you know, cool Oh, thing, we're not celebrities. Jeff, Brittley, uh, Solstice, you know, you, you're kind of like, you know, YouTube celebs, you know, it's like, so I'm sort of feeling very privileged at the moment, so... It's they're, 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 we're all DJs. We all work. We all yeah, do the same thing. We all put pants on the same yeah. way. Uh, you know, Matt is always a, the best DJ ever. You know, it's always the same thing. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all human. But, um, you know, Taylor and Jordan are awesome people. Chris, you know, you know is great. Hunter's great. We're, Jeff is great. Everyone comes on the show. I, again, I try to have a little bit of everyone because we're all just DJs and we're all just saying, hey, this is what you know. This is what we feel. What we do and how we do it. And it's not, you have to do it our way. It's that this is the way it works for us, for us. Hopefully we share some secrets with you and, you know, everyone learns, walks away and be, is a better DJ down the road. That's all. 
Well, so with that said, once again, thank you. Thank you so much for having me anyway. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. I'll let you do your sign off. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> no problem. But make sure you stick around, Paul, because I want to talk to you afterwards. And we always talk a little after the show because uh, we always discuss things, have fun. And uh, maybe one of these days we got to do an overtime episode. And also tell me down there, what do you guys think of the thumbnails? Especially Matt. He always does these crazy looks. I always try to get everyone to smile and get thumbs up. And Matt always has to do the, uh, well, Matt has to be Matt, you know, so. <laughs> hey, we all have our, you know, our, uh, what is it, uh, blue steel look, you know, the Zoolander yeah. thing. Happening, Matt so. has that. He has his blue steel look. He's That's what he should go for. He, he should, Yeah, that, that's that's his Halloween outfit. That's what he should do. <laughs> yeah, you, you should channel, just, yeah. Just don't yeah. go having any gasoline fights. <laughs> oh, yeah, no gasoline fights. Please, no, please, please, please. <laughs> And, you know, it, yeah, no, 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 no. Don't want to do that. That's not fun. So with that said, I'm going to actually have Chris take us out tonight. Chris, if you yeah. don't mind, take us out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Buddy's channel there. All right. At the uh, round table. We'll catch you, everybody, in two weeks. There's no yep. show. Everyone be safe. Be take safe. care, everyone. Have fun, everyone. Peace out.